Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Virginie and today I am very exciting about the A to Z Christmas Challenge collaboration. Let's get back to basics. So this is a collaboration hosted by Raj and Bella Craft and Journals in Time. So they both designed a digital kit. Uh, it's a huge kit. There is 72 pages which are available in uh, both of their Etsy shop. So for the letter S, we are two creators taking part of the letter S. So there is me, Virginie Burger, and there is Stacy from Stacy's Crafty Chime. So please go to check our channel today also to have the other project. For my part, I will bring you to make a wall journal page which is designed to be on the center of your signature and on the back of this paper i have run my ink daubers everywhere so i drew my template in a cardstock uh, so it's kind of uh, thick and i do it in the cardstock to have some sturdiness and to be able to uh, cut on each paper my pattern. So let's prepare the paper first, okay? Uh, I have cut everything, so I need uh, two pieces of the first paper. Oops, come on. So two pieces of this one. I need two pieces of the second one. Okay. And I need only one pieces of this of the third pattern, which will be the center star. So you need to choose which paper will be on the center and which paper will be on each side, okay? So you need to have a paper for your background, which will have some contrast from your uh, signature page. So I drew my template in a cardstock, uh, so it's kind of uh, thick, and I do it in the cardstock to have some sturdiness and to be able to uh, cut on each paper my pattern okay so i will put that in a pdf uh, on my coffee uh, shop link which will be linked also in the description box so if you want to make the star you will need to print that or you will need to draw your own star that's also a uh, match and uh, i have written here on the folding part middle line for you to remember that this is the part which will go on the crease of our paper. I have cut everything, so I need uh, two pieces of the first paper. Oops, come on. So two pieces of this one. I need two pieces of the second one. Okay. And I need only one pieces of this of the third pattern, which will be the center star. So you need to choose which paper will be on the center and which paper will be on each side. Okay, so you need to have a paper for your background, which will have some contrast from your uh, thing. So we need to cut first our templates. And then we will use each template on each paper. So we fold the paper in, in half. You mark the crease very well. Okay, you want the crease 
to be very uh, pronounced. Then you will put the center line of your pattern near to the crease, okay? Right on top of the crease. And you will just have to use um, a light glue stick, cheap one, okay? Don't use a permanent glue stick, otherwise it will stick too much and it will damage your paper. So you stick your star just on top of the crease, okay? Like so. Nothing is picking through here, but it's right on the side. And you will hold the point of the star very well. And you will now cut against your pattern, sliding your thumb, your left thumb, to hold the paper the best as you can, because there is two layers. And if you don't press firmly, then the second part of the paper will move a little bit and that won't be exactly the good shape, okay? So you need to be careful when you cut the template and you will do exactly the same for all your five A5 paper to have five different five star. So everything is inked around. So now we will have the gluing uh, part. So let me bring it a little bit closer here because that is the most important part. Okay, so we'll keep in mind that this is my center star. So we will place the star the way we want to have them. Okay, so I kind of like the way to have like kind of a geometrical look. And also this will be my center one. And this will be my first one. This will be the next one. And this will be the next one. Okay, so we place it. We place them on top of each other. And we will start the gluing part. And okay. so, um, yeah. I will uh, glue the left side of the star. Remember the crease, where the crease is, the point is the top, okay? So I put the right part on my book, fold it, and I will glue this part with a good glue stick, okay? This time we won't use the cheap one. We will use the good glue stick which we are sure that it will hold everything properly and uh, for a long time, okay? So we need it to be permanent now. So now we take the second star, the next one, and we will glue the left part of the next one on top of the first one. So the right part to the left part. And we aligned the crease properly. And by aligning the crease, 
the point on the side will be aligned too. Okay, so give that a good press. Okay, so now we have one star, two star. So now we need our central pattern. Okay. you can see this is the opening so there isn't any glue here for now so i will try and come on the side where i have some little uh, gap like here i will just come with my scissor and take the bits out Let's assemble our little star in our signature page. So this will be my central signature page. I didn't bind my journal for now, so I am waiting uh, till the end to do that. So maybe I will just uh, shape a little bit better the top here there okay so we will have to glue first uh, one side and we will align on the crease okay so we will need to make sure that the crease is right on the middle okay so to do that i will take my glue stick on my glue book okay and let's go just near the crease hold it and fold our page and stick that down okay and for the second one let's take a scrap of paper to put here underneath to go right to the edge plenty of glue
So now we have our little uh, star and we need to let that dry, um, making sure that it's not uh, touching each uh, layer. Okay, it's well open and we need to let that dry for a moment uh, because uh, there is sometimes some glue stick um, in the part that it can stick uh, to the paper and we won't we want, we don't want that. In the meantime, uh, by the time it's, uh, the glue is drying, to the glue to dry, I will uh, show you how I made this little uh, snowflakes. So I had in my stash, I had this little piece of uh, vinyl wallpaper. Okay, so it has uh, a layer of adhesive behind it. So you can remove the back layer and it can stick directly to your page. Okay, like you can make some stickers on it. And I have... Um, magnetic punch which is in two parts okay so one of the part which go in the bottom has this uh, little snowflake shape and the bar the base have exactly the same shape on the bottom and this part will come under your paper on your surface you will put your paper on top of it and the punches right on top. Okay, so it will sandwich the two. The punch will be sandwiched with your paper in the middle and you will make a good push. Okay, and then you have your snowflake. So those metallic, um, those magnetic punches are really good for this kind of uh, thing because they can go through the um, stickers, the, the um, vinyl adhesive paper. So it's really handy. So I will make a few of them. And um, at the beginning, you just can see that you can't make any mistake because there is only one way that it will uh, layer properly, uh, directly. And when it's stick together uh, firmly, it's in the right position. Okay, so you can't uh, make anything around. So I have two shapes of this uh, magnetic pattern. I have the snowflakes. And I have a little star, but um, the star, I can't use it as a stickers because it make an open pattern. I will show you, which is great uh, to decorate a page, for example. But I can't make a stickers because it's open, but it's very uh, cute to make the design on your paper. Okay, so on your signature page, you can make a star like so. And I want to add a little bit of uh, shimmer on top of my snowflake to make them a little bit uh, more uh, 3D uh, shape like my 3D star. So I will just round some dot of glue on the point. And on the center as well. Okay. Put my cap on. So let me show you where I put the glue. Okay, and I will take my glitter and I will just 
drop my glitter on top of the glue. I put a nice amount to be sure to have a nice coverage. Then I take some tweezers and I will take from the branch where I didn't put any. Okay, so our star is dry. So we will take some of our snowflake uh, to glue it on top of the uh, paper. tell you that if you don't have uh, the snowflake pinches uh, you can still use uh, in uh, the printable kit and which from the A to Z Christmas challenge in the digital kit you have some really nice snowflakes pattern and I just tore up all around the snowflake you can ink the edge of your snowflake. You can add a drop of glue and some glitter on top of the, on the center of the snowflake. And you can have one glued in the center or you can have several glued in your page as well. Okay, so it don't, you don't have to have the magnetic punch like me to decorate your page. You can do in a completely different way which, which, with what you have at home. Okay, don't go to buy uh, some stuff. Uh, use what you have at home. Okay, so I am thinking that I will use some sequin. I want just to glue a little element here. So see, I, I take a card in the printable. I had some glitter on the pompon of the gnome um, cap and some glitter on his shoes. And I will just glue that down here. Maybe I will round the corner of this little card. It's like it's another way to add something uh, from yourself <clears throat> in some printable. You can still add some elements to decorate your kit. Let's glue that down here on the side. And you have your page. With your star, 3D star, little star. And I will glue my snowflake here on the middle to have a little bit of something here because I do it and I want to use it. Why not? Oops, sorry. Come on, little guy.
mark the crease and go and everything will st still continue to dry now so i hope you enjoy this video there is your signature page center page and you have your 3d uh, little star in the middle and you need to do that before to stitch your uh, book together because you want to be sure that it will be catched in your sewing uh, in your binding in the journal binding okay so i hope you enjoy it and uh, i was really happy to share this technique with you uh, i was inspired by pam at the paper outpost for this 3D uh, project. She made, um, she used to make that with some earth, earth shape and um, it was kind of nice in the journal. So it doesn't have to be Christmassy. You can do this technique with a lot of different shape. I hope you enjoy and um, please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment i will be very happy uh, to read what you think of my project and i will see you in the next video so don't forget to go and check out all the video from the collaboration and uh, this month of november i will have a playlist with all the creators and all the projects from letter A to letter Z. So there will be all in one uh, place for you to check that out. So please uh, go to my playlist and uh, visit all of the contributors of this collaboration and give them some uh, thumbs up, comment and uh, cheer them up, subscribe to all the channels. And that will also be a way to enter um, Rachel at Rachel Rachel Bella Craft uh, giveaway. So it's really nice. And um, oh, I forgot to make the letter S. So I will do that uh, on the side so you can add some letter S, T, A, R for star and add some glitter on top of the glue you draw the letter with the glue and then you put your glitter or you can use a pen you can use anything that you want so yeah that's it i'll see you later for the next video bye